and we're back. And people are apt to questions before we even start. Um, so we rolled on a named bullet thing. The bullet hits uh, before the spell resistance against the bullet is checked. Um, and then for keep watch, what is your question? Uh, what does dictate vigorous activity? Uh, vigorous activity would be exercising, training, basically anything other than like sitting around or casually walking around. Would would something as simple as just like trying to fix this bullet be better? Vigorous activity. If yes. I, want to try and, like, I, I would. I would say that like you still have to heat up the forge. You still have to do hammering. You still have to shape it. Okay. Um, that's still going to take strenuous okay. effort. So how bad does this bullet that we put together look like? You said like it, it's sh sort of shoddy. Like it looks terrible. no, it looked it does. I didn't say it looks shoddy. It looks usable. It just doesn't look as efficient as you feel like you could have done. Okay. Um, you know that like if you would have had more time and probably better resources, you probably would have done a better job. Um, and so then one additional question: um, Is there anything? Uh, I know we've like accumulated gunpowder and shit from uh, when the lion tried to firebomb us, although it was just random loot, but like it looked like he was trying to firebomb us. So we have things like gunpowder and stuff. Would it be feasible to make um, within the bell device itself, like basically pocket like gunpowder or something that would cause the bell to automatically vibrate once the gun is fired to make it so that like the bell is like rattling around even if the creature kind of stops moving? Um, would that be feasible, or... How would you keep it exploding in there? Well, it would be, like, think, like, like, a, like a firecracker or something that's, like, lots of, like, delayed blasts. Like, combat only lasts, like, literally 30 seconds. So like, Sure, we... but, I mean, a firecracker to do that has to have, like, numerous smaller, like, crackers in, you know, uh, um, what do I fucking call that? Packages in it right. down the, uh, down the pipe. So maybe theoretically you could do micro packages in there, but it's going to, you're going to like increase the penalty on the aerodynamics of the bullet mm -hmm. as you, as you start adding more things to it. Cause like, you have um, a lot to get over though. Cause I mean, this thing is basically like going to hit. Yeah. Um, what we're just trying to determine is I'm not rolling it. How, how sensitive is the bell? Like, is it like, if you like wiggle a little bit, it dings. Yeah, if you move a slight bit, it, it's it's gonna make noise because you, you can make a pretty small bell, a pretty small bell that will make like a noise if you move it. If you've ever like encountered a jingle bell mm -hmm. before, it's like the most obnoxious thing in the history of mankind. Okay. Uh, so and it, people wearing them should be killed. If we're pretty confident, that very it's strong, very important. hard. Any video if game, it's very hard for it to not make any noise. Then I think I'd be okay with it. If it if it seems very like a lot of motion doesn't produce a lot of noise, I think I would want to try and do some sort of finagling to it. Um, okay. But it, as is, it sounds like it kind of makes a lot of noise already. So, like, I think we just have to go with it. Um, okay, cool. All right. So, uh, I'm going to cast Keep Watch on everyone except for Cassius. Cassius has the substance ring anyways. Um, and I will be doing this every night that we are resting anywhere in this area because I'm paranoid. Okay. So we can have roleplay conversations as we in the night, guys. Come on. Um <laughs> What's on Zeke's mind? One creature uh, touched per two. Guys. Okay. Right. So I, I basically won't be affecting yeah. the castles. But he's already good anyway. He'll till he will sleep for two hours. Yeah. It's a little baby nap. It's like Cassius, you damn it, all of us are keeping watch. What are you doing, huh? It's completely ignoring all the nights where Cassius kept watch. Alright. I'm putting uh, my spell list in each other. Oh yeah, I'll put mine up too, because mine has mine is very unique. <laughs> <laughs> non spontaneous <laughs> casters. So you do hundred damage. Oh and uh, I don't know if it was stated, but I'm using ignorance invisibility when we start traveling in. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'll be using greater magic weapon from the get-go once we start traveling. Okay. The night goes uneventfully. Hooray. Alright, shirt hit points reactivate. Yep. 
with uh, this headband on all night? Is, is Am I feeling any different yet? So when you wake up, you... You don't feel the headband around your eyes anymore. Like, you don't think you're even wearing it. You... You don't notice a difference between eyes closed and eyes open anymore. You don't even know if you have eyes. Like, you don't feel your eyes. You don't feel your eyelashes. You don't feel, like, the opening and closing of your eyes. Sounds seem larder, a bit more painful in some ways. Like, even the little bird noises in the distance or the, the like, the sound of the... Um, of the haze kind of moving in and the land shifting and, and bubbling and, uh, you know, undulating. So I can literally, I feel like I can see perfectly, like I can see the cart. Like... No, you feel the exact opposite of that. You feel like okay. you don't have eyes, but that everything is really loud. Okay, so I Imagine you were like blind, I... you were blind and you had okay. like the highest level of sensory sensitivity. Okay. Everything is very loud, very piercing, very painful. Lovely. Probably it's tumbling around like, can you guys be quiet? You say that and like, it sounds loud even to you. Well, no point in letting it dawn on us. Let's, let's get to it. I, I say a prayer the spirit mother for everyone, including Arvos. And Cassius talked to his tree pals. They apparently did not come. Interesting. I wonder who could have told that was going to happen. Maybe they will come when they need them. When the sun comes over the eastern mountains. When the time so of man looks most dark. You said you were going to hide behind me in the combat, right? <laughs> now, now it's starting to scare me, speaking in poetry. This feels it's like not, the end. It's not poetry. It's a Tolkien dialect. I don't know if you're... Uh, 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 um, Tolkien does not exist here. Uh, let's not get legal teams involved. Uh, damn it. I just got Steve's channel land. <laughs> it's also why I don't have any Gith Yankee in this game. They're George R. R. Martin products. Okay, the well, irony of that being the thing that would get him banned. <laughs> let's get to it, Pierre. All right. You all move in. And as you move in, you are invisible to those things that growl and howl, but they still do it. They still do it consistently. And Dan, you've created a wonderful little macro for all of us to use. Uh, why don't you explain for the class what this macro does? Um, and I'm going to need to copy it onto character sheets. Um, it is essentially a macro that it will make use of everyone's specific load saves. Um, it will automate the process of doing your checks for you over the course of multiple hours. So if we travel five hours between an encounter, Steve can tell us, okay, after five hours we're encountering something and at that point we should check to see what our spell points are so the macro you would select five hours we'll select what dc steve tells us and it'll calculate how many arcane points you lost nice um so i am installing that now because i didn't think of it before i will use sphinx as the first example of it um thanks yeah, actually, if you put at selected in place of uh, El Maldronicus, it should just be able. Oh to yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't notice that you had the at Maldronicus in there. Thank so you. I thought you already had the at selected, but I forgot we didn't talk about the selected thing right. until. But that's the only Maldronicus specific aspect of it. Everything else yep. should work perfectly with um, every other character. Well, only losers need to be worried about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Maybe right, maybe you. You should roll it too. Yep. Just to see. I, I want to see what Steve does to fuck with you, cats. <laughs> Although technically, it actually don't does you have a sanity me. score, Mister? Uh, oh, that yeah. Seems like a stackable uh -oh. number to me. I broke it. 
Seems like a thing you shouldn't be giving oh. ideas about to me. Uh, well, if, <laughs> I if I'm dying, I want us all to die. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, right. I don't what have a, a token selected. Leader. That's why. Fantastic. I actually have a macro here. If you want me to just. I'm just. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it in. It's gonna be on everybody's token actions as I'm doing it. So, Sphinx, you now have it under your token actions. Uh, Mal, did you already give yourself one, Dan? Yeah, let me try it with selected, just to double check okay. if that works. It looked like it did when I gave it to Sphinx, so... Yep, it works. It is the cost reach button. Well, that's deceiving. Green makes you feel like you did good, but it's actually bad. Yep. No, that that's okay. O over four hours, that means I only failed one of the four saves. So, uh, I would take that. You always lose one. You're always losing one per hour. And so. raw. All right. Yeah, I wish I would have remembered to do this earlier, but... I had, like, more work stuff keep coming up than I expected. So, something I want to try to see. Um, yes. A new spell. This is kind of like a, a theory of Aldronicus has been having. I don't know if this works or not. But everything we've kind of learned about this creature and this planar presence seems to suggest that it's changing what is happening here. And my my suspicion is that it's trying to change this area into its plane. Um, so I'm going to cast a spell called Bestow Planar Infusion on myself. If this is still a material plane, it has no effect. If this is the Abyssal Plane, it would start to have um, a minor infusion effect on myself. Ooh, hold on. This does have an effect. Um... You know, it does have the full effect. One of the hopeful things I was hoping is that it, it attunes me a little bit more and just gives a slight bonus to adapting to this environment, but... I could also be way off. This is just my theory. Uh, hold on. Now we're into a whole realm of things I've not had to deal with. Give me one sec here. Because I need to make sure I'm going based on the right plane. So I have the Abyss one in my notes um, of the spell. Okay. Uh, just going off of what uh, Cass, or not Cass is. Uh... Uh, that would be what it is. So there are slight differences though. Um, is you touch it and give me a knowledge of the planes while you're doing this. Sure. And uh, so I have my knowledge planes, and I also have ranks and knowledge uh, some Luva. I don't know what that is a subset of at this point, but... Um, I think you're... You can go ahead and give me a... Well, still, for right now, I would do the planes, because you're, you're getting planar information, not this creature's information. This is really annoying that Abyss, when I go to... When I do a search for it, does not link to one of the planes. Um, yeah, you... If you go to the chaotic plane, it describes the abyss planes. Yeah, I know. It's just annoying when, like, you're on a page that has the information and every other plane is linked, and the one plane that you want to look at is definitely not there. Um, because it's the naughty plane. Not as naughty as others. Like, when I was reading through these ones, there's some fucked up shit. But so, this one, yeah. in this particular case, you feel... This feels abyss-like... But something about this is different. Almost like a plane of its own that exists within another plane. Oh, we lost Michelle. Um, almost as if it's a plane of its own uh, of its own type that exists upon another plane. Um, there are hints and pieces of the abyss in it. But also something much more twisted. Um, so you'll actually receive, instead of the bonus on fort, you'll receive the bo a bonus on will saves. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you will receive a bonus on bluff instead of intimidate when attempting to um, uh, when attempting to faint an opponent. Mm-hmm. Um, it, but you will still receive that bonus uh, on attack rolls to confirm critical hits. And you will feel your mind feel like something, almost like a pair of tentacles kind of twist around it a bit. I said I was willing to lose everything to defeat this. It is time to put that to the test. It is time to put that to the test, isn't it, little one? You'll be mine soon enough. Ember... If you can feel me, I can certainly feel you. I could already feel us. <laughs> what? Let's, let's not. I, I actually don't know if I'm having this conversation like in my head or like out loud. Um, give me a. I guess give me sort of a will save to see whether or not if you pass, you have it in your head. If you fail, you have it out of your head. So you have it in your head. Be okay. Just bring me your delicious, delicious ideas, and I will help you make much better use of them. I'm bringing them. They won't be served on ice, but you're hoping. I like mine warm. Very, very warm. Sexual tension is palpable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, move along, guys. <clears throat> Everything's fine. This is fine. So as you first like get a little ways into here, um, I am going to actually need Dan Maldronicus to give me another will save. What have I done? You feel whispers in your head as well. You don't want to keep going. Tell your driver to just back away. This isn't such a good idea. You could go other places. There's surely some kind of other real threat that you need to deal with. For someone that's talking a lot of shit. You certainly seem to want us to leave. Which means that there is some chance that we will actually succeed. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Um, for some time, there is no further mental impairment that occurs. Let me change a little bit of this background here. Purple lights. Purple lights. Yes. Good. Good call. Thank you for that reminder. Need the continuity, from. I do need the continuity. I need to go change the diaper real fast. Okay. It's not the dream music. It has bad memories of, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. You think you're getting out of the dream music? God damn it. Everything bad happens associated with this dream music. It's like... So many bad That's connotations wrong. with a single song at this point that, like... Isn't it just so comforting? So, you continue your journey for about three more hours. Uh, you guys are out some distance, and that is a overall uh, 13 to the check. If I can have those of you spellcasters give me three hours at 13. You want me to do it as well? You don't have the, the macro. Oh, fair enough. What spells do you cast? Technically, I didn't know if technically I was supposed to because I have those, um, the blessings or the... Yeah, they're not the same. Okay. Oh. Can you remind me, do I feel my spell power being drained at this point? Do I feel this? Yes. It is a, it is like a slow feeling of your, your memory of the things that you, uh, that you can... Like, I'm sorry, it is your feeling of, like, attunement with the magic that you kind of store inside of you kind of being 
peeled away from you bit by bit. It feels like a little bit of yourself gets kind of wrenched away. As I'm feeling this, I would like to cast Mending on the cart to see if there is any resistance to my spell casting this deep into the place where I'm... Uh, no, at this time there is no... There's no real resistance to your spell casting. Okay. Um, but what there is instead is more words in the head of Maldronicus. Give me another will save. I keep this up, guys. You see those things over there? Why don't you go over and give them a hug? They're, they'll be friends with you. Oh, yes, I... I cut them out to study you. I feel like uh, out of out of character, I obviously don't want to tell this thing, but at this point, Mal has aligned himself so opposite opposite this thing. He could mm-hmm. not resist the temptation to interact with this thing. Um, but I, I, yeah, I would say ah uh, yes, we took a number of those earlier. They're not as strong as you are, they. No. What is your weakness? Hmm, hey, I have no weaknesses. I will find it. Steve, is that the... Is uh, that voice the only one that's talking in his head, or is he saying this out loud, or...? It's, he's saying it in his head. And the okay. first will save he made was to was to not talk out loud with it. Is my macro supposed to tell me no attribute was found for at Maldronicus Iron Hand will? Uh, oops, when I pasted it and I might have inadvertently did not properly hit select. It did say you, though. It does, it did fill in your role information. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it's using but I will, the right I will number. fix it. Hang on. Because it couldn't have pulled the data from uh, Maldronicus. Um, because what, it said the DC was 13, and it says I failed twice. Literally, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I one, am going to have you re-roll it. Give me a sec. Okay. What it probably did is zero that out. Then it's very it weird because it should have aired it out. It should not have rolled it as a zero, but go ahead and push it again. Mine did the same thing. I don't know if it matters. Uh, yeah, then we'll redo yours as well. I clearly fucked up and did not change the selected. Okay, that looks a lot more correct. Yep. I did, I done fucked up, guys. I did Sphinx's right. I was like, with a DC of 13, it's actually impossible for me to fail this. Hit it again, AA Revos. Sorry, it's uh, three hours? Three hours. Okay. There we go. Another three hours pass. This time, Zeke, something, something speaks to you. Hey, you hate wizards, don't you? Especially evil ones. You guys, I got an evil wizard speaking in my head right now. <laughs> Seek so much more straightforward than now. It's just like it's give me, like... give me a will save, as you think about wanting to say that. <laughs> where, where is my? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Yeah, you just outright say it. You put this voice on blast. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't Are you... you wearing your? Protective armor? Is your mind at risk again? I think that's only for scrying. It's not telling you to do anything nefarious, is it? I don't know. I didn't let it finish speaking to me. (laughs) (laughs) Cut that that motherfucker off. (laughs) Let's see if it tries Zeke again. (laughs) He's like, okay. This is the guy that we're not going to target with our telemarketer scam. <laughs> um, let me take a look at something here as you travel. All 
<clears throat> As your cart moves the rest of the way, there's no further attempts to pry or change your thoughts. But Sphinx, your ring glows bright through the travel. Whatever can watch you is watching you. Do you want to see what it is on the other side? There might be a new car there. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to try to shut that down? Zoom. Mal, do you care if people scry on us, or do you want me to attempt to shut that down? Oh, I'm thinking you shut it down. It lasts only right. a few minutes, or...? Um, well, it's basically putting protection from evil on her, which... So what's the duration? Yeah, I'm looking. Um, a minute per level, so it lasts eight minutes. Uh, I'd almost tell you, I, I'd rather you save them for the real fights. Okay. It, it almost seems trivial if it's resist this thing. This thing is obviously way above us. Um, you could block its scries, I guess, in burst, but it would still, I think it would still relock onto us. So I'd rather you have your full energies available to you. That's going to be more valuable, I think. But you, you can do whatever you want. That, that's just like what Mal would tell you. The next Several hours. How how long will you go before you rest? So you have about fourteen more hours to go. So I'll tell you like my outer character plan, and then obviously you can go. What mm -hmm. what I am like hoping is if we can get um, to the point of we are basically told there's a tunnel, and before the tunnel we will encounter a lot of stuff. I want to try and get through a lot of that stuff get to the mouth of the tunnel, rest there because it's probably our last chance to, with a bunch of trees grown, and then in the morning go down into the tunnel. Okay. Um, and we said by a horse you can travel, is it 40 miles a day? 40 miles a day. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought I remembered. So like, I don't know where we start. So you're about a day and a half away from where where you, where it was marked on the map for you uh, from mm -hmm. the scrying that the entrance is. So like we, we, we can see how it's going. Um, but we'll obviously do a full day's travel today, and then the more pertinent question is after the next day, like, okay. do we stop at a half day and rest outside and, like, regain our resources? Okay. Um, well, actually, right. Like, it might be worth it, but... At the, end of the, at the end of what you would feel to be the first day, the first of the daylight, because while you're in here, it's hard to tell day from night. Um, any light in the sky is diffused by the purple haze that fills the air around you. Um, are you wanting to stop here? And I will need another uh, 14 hours of checks. Okay. Uh, again, still at DC. Actually, these will be at DC 14. As you're going in. So 14 hours, so 10 and 4. 14 and 14 is what you're going to be rolling. I don't know if it, if it goes that high. Yeah, I, I did not have it built in. Okay. Go, uh, I Sorry. was not sure. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Doing. That's still fine. You can do a 10 and a 4. Oh. All right. So you are you are like in the middle of this and how long did ignorance and visibility last? I know it was a I had a long duration on it. I don't have it in front of me. Uh two hours a level, so sixteen hours. Okay. Yeah. So you'll you will have to do you have enough to use two castings? Oh yeah. Okay. So I can recast it at whatever point we need to. Okay. So yeah. Am I doing that? So I'm recasting. Yeah, you will you will need to do that a second time. Okay. Because there are control. 20 effective hours to the day. When I cast it at this point, do I feel any resistance against my spell casting? Uh, not yet. 
Okay. I will refresh my Bissau Pointer Binding. Okay. And um, if we're resting, I will cast Keep Watch again. Okay. Um, uh, everyone except Cassius. Yep. Uh, there's been no strategy. When we sit down to rest to like whatever main area of our like camp that we're making, um, I will do a consecrate ground right there. Okay. And is there anything else that you want to do? There? Yeah, I'm. I'm a, actually probably even before I cast these keep watching things. I'm. Um, so this is. Can we have a camp layout so I can give you like my seed layout? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let me bring you over to. And make sure I'm bringing you to a safe segment of it and that I don't bring you to the wrong segment of it and reveal information that I don't want to be. So the general idea um, is that... Yeah, we so can we move have... the cart and everything forward a little ways. Oops, um, come on, get the grabber. Get the little grabby grabber. Am I the only one... Am I the only one that sees absolutely nothing? It's in the no, very bottom right corner. I've, I've I'm moving the screen also. Ah, okay. There you go. Yeah, the ah, stuff that was yeah. visible was in the very bottom right yeah. corner. Um, Thank you. So I don't know what radius you want me to estimate, but let's just say five foot radius. Is that fine? Or sure. less? <laughs> um, so assuming that, then basically um, I'd want like a tr oh, that is drawing a square. I want My consecrate will be a 20 foot radius for wherever you, I'd put it wherever you wanted me to put it, but okay. I intended for like the middle of camp, like have a little set of consecration for us to, I don't know I if it'll benefit, choice. but figure it doesn't hurt. Working and now it's I'll show you. Oh, it's, oh. So I want like something like this where, um, the horses could basically like okay. be attached around one tree. Um, so that would be where the horses would rest. Um, and then I want um, for our area, I want basically three of these. Um, or I guess let's do four just to make it easy. If there's no limitation on the seeds, I'm not going to be like frugal with them. Okay. Um, so then on the seeds, like kind of close to the horses, I would want like something like so one with like some overlap, then two, three, and these are obviously like not scaled exactly, but I, basically like that. So I would want like a full sort of like coverage of a square that's like ten foot by ten foot by planting four trees. Okay, and that should give us enough area to like comfortably sleep and also give us enough room to maneuver if we need to. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the full combat of what is going to happen. But you, but what I really want to do is these things aren't really going to be attacking you regardless of what you do. And you guys can basically off these each with roughly one and a half hits. Um, but things start coming out of the darkness around you and rushing in for the trees, howling at every step that they go. Um, and so as they come in, I just am going to have you guys make a few uh, checks against each one uh, that comes in just to see if you take any residual damage from the Masticators as they roam through. Uh, so there are going to be about seven of them that will run in. Um, so I think we'll do this... Um, Because each of them will really only get one on you before you waste it. So let me have one at a time. Uh, starting with Zeke, each of you give me seven will saves. Or I guess you could just pick out your will bonus and do... Uh, that's not going to work well either because it doesn't computate that well. Um, Is there a chance that Zeke and I just spell them before they even get the attack off too? That you dispel them? Spell them. Um... Because if I see stuff coming at me, I'm going to cast Long Arms. And then Zeke has Reach. Their their effective range for this is basically your hearing. Oh, oh yeah, right, right. Okay. So, I thought this was their bite thing. Right? No, uh -uh. this is just you hearing them. I think I've got a way, though, that I can make this roll real quick. Let me, let me throw together a quick query. Uh, 
I should have thought of this, and I didn't. I hate that I didn't think of it till just now. Um, but I can just do a quick at selected will save for all the players times the number of them that will be affecting you. Uh, and I think will is just labeled will, right? Yeah. Will. So I'm going to roll this for each of you, um, and we'll see what happens. The so Sphinx, you're going first. Yeah. See if this works. All right, so that is a lot of failures. Um, uh, no, did no, that work? Did it not? No, it, it did not. Be adding a bonus, and it's just rolling a straight like d twenty. So did you select six? No, it's because I have them double bracketed, actually. But let me remove the double brackets, because what you're actually seeing. Well, no, that one shouldn't be possible. She definitely has a will save bonus. Yeah. But I have her character selected. God damn it! Why can't this ever just work the way I want it to? Steve, uh, GGG has an open position um, for, for someone that doesn't uh, test anything uh, ahead of like release. So, um, <laughs> it's more it's more fun at GGG. They uh, this is what they do. I feel like every two weeks of every start of league is just uh, testing their new features. Yeah, man, that's that's how it works. It's like, just, not... why is it not adding the roll? Oh, I know why. I, Dan, don't correct me. Because I know you can see it. Dan, get him. Fucking syntax. Alright, but that means that I can do this back the way that I wanted to. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's two failures for Sphinx. Uh, so she is going to take three points of charisma damage. And then we're going to do Maldronicus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next. And we're going to do Aravos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys are sons of the bitches. You know that? I can't even roll what? this on raw because it's entirely pointless to roll it on raw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Zeke failed one. Um, so, uh... Um... Did, did I get my bonuses for raging? Because if it was combat, I would have gotten that. It's not combat. Well, if you wanted to have used up a rage here, you can have used up a rage here. Um, so what would your rage bonus have been? It doesn't matter. That's, that's enough to pass. Um... And then lastly would be Cassius. I'm going to keep all of the rolls for how Pierre is doing secret. Oh, oh. God damn Cassius. One, two, three, four, five. Who's six. Pierre? That's how he did. Yep. <laughs> damn. That is some painful shit, though, for Cassius. Is Cassius it, dead? It, 
Are mine those? Are mine those five? The seven, the three, five? the three, the eleven, and the twelve. Holy shit! Oh, take five points of charisma damage. You could have just died, Gazus. Yep. Just I don't know. I think he's. Roll. I don't think he's got eight points of charisma. Wait. Oh, is nope, your charisma I've got nine. Tom? Yeah. So okay, he couldn't uh, have died from it. <laughs> oh, he could have. You lower. Oh, he only took four. Yeah. It was four. Wait. One, two, three, four. I should have not said anything. Okay. No, I took five. I'm at four. No, I'm going to say you took four. If I counted as four, you'd get four. Count this a fuck you up. And actually, in, in my thinking, mm -hmm. there there is a possibility Cassius could have killed one of them before it would have gotten right. range. So. Okay. Um. All right. God, for do high we, will saves. Do we, because uh, we've studied these creatures, we know what this effect does and we know what's happening. Yes. Right. You Screams, you know that yeah. like it is much harder right now for you guys to remember Cassius. He just doesn't have what that is... same impact he did before. There's some way I can uh, block my ears. Did the I had taken charisma damage at some point previously? Did that heal at all? Uh, it did. Okay, that's what I wanted. Because this this. Did damage heals is naturally right yes like, it heals so naturally but it days. doesn't heal naturally while well, you're in here sphinx uh fantastic i know you're proficient with healing magics do you have anything to restore lesser damage to these things that they're causing what what did you say lesser restoration i've heard of it do you have it <laughs> on desecrated ground or on consecrated ground does it heal Ooh. Uh, how long does the Consecrated Ground last for? Two hours per level, so 16 hours. Okay. So I would say that in this particular case, yes. Uh, Cassius, if he rests, will recover one point of this charisma damage. Same with um, Sphinx? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh. I want to try something in particular reckless, but I think it's what I would want to do. Um... I want to try and open my mind to this creature targeting me again to deliver the message. Um, I want to specifically try and intimidate it um, as it sort of like prods my thoughts and my thoughts. I want my thoughts to essentially be me thinking of it in all of its creatures kind of pigeonholed into these little like tunnels and just getting destroyed and the thoughts of it essentially wanting to push its creatures out and fight us in the open, um, essentially leaving it less guarded. That is like my out of character, but my in character is essentially, I want it to try and deploy its guards out onto the open fields, trick it into wanting to actually fight us with, or put its guards out here so that it is less guarded in the actual you know that sensation that you have when you pick up your phone and you dial a number and there's just no sound because mm -hmm. like it's not connected? Mm -hmm. That's the that's the response that you get, um, almost as if something is jamming the signal. Um, and Sphinx, you'll notice your ring is not glowing anymore. Somebody got to him first. <laughs> Our dryad's friends are doing something, maybe. You're on consecrated ground, Meljonic. You seem True. like you're trying to you're trying to poop over there. I don't know what you're doing. But <laughs> you seem like you're. In you don't even know what consecrated. And maybe with my knowledge, my sudden knowledge religion. I yeah, actually know go ahead and give me a knowledge religion check. Just because, like, see if you can comprehend how this stuff works. Oh yeah, nice roll. Um. So yeah, you, uh, you realize like, oh yeah, if I'm on like holy ground with these trees that are like capable of kind of blocking out some of this haze, this thing probably does not have the connection to me that it once did. You even realize like as you're standing here, that feeling of the tentacles around your brain, it's mm -hmm. not there. Okay, so then my new plan would be, I would want to do this first thing in the morning when like the trees have sort of decayed, mm -hmm. the desecrate or the consecrate is gone. I want to try and basically do this boast to it. Okay. Um, so you guys can rest. You guys can recover spells. Um, and the trees don't decay. 
the trees change and shift. Let's and... get away from these things very quickly. <laughs> if I call the dryad, told us to stay away from the fucked up ones, and these <laughs> things are looking very fucked up. Should we destroy them, or you're leaving them to become part of this terrain? Look around you, Erebos. Everything here is fucked. What is a couple trees? They Good probably boss. knew going in here that uh, something like this could happen too. Save our energy for the fights that are to come, as I'm certain they will. All right, and as you travel in deeper, um, I am going to need the party. This is why. I'm going to need each member of the party this time to give me a will save. Just a single one. I don't like this, Steve. You said a reflex save, right? Nope. I said the one you're weakest against. Um, and also, just for what it's worth, remember, I, like I'm not resisting. It's like communicate with me. I just yep. am resisting its needs to like influence me. But I do yep. want it to feel like I'm exposed. I I fully get that. Uh, so let me see your will save with it, because I don't think you're gonna fully allow it to do what it's doing. So my, I already rolled my will for it to resist it, and then I'm not re, ro, I'm not resisting any. Oh, I, there's your will. Okay, sorry, I didn't see it because I thought it was the knowledge check. Um, all right. Um, and what he does best in exposing himself. So the two of you have your dialogue, and as you're like pushing these thoughts to him, you start to notice. Cassius and Sphinx. You're not necessarily bad people, but Aravos is. Cassius, all the things that Aravos has done, all the things that he's done to put this party in danger, and now, now he holds Mal's life in his hands. Is this really the person you want to ally yourself with? Look, you don't have to kill him. Nobody's asking you to do that. But if he stands in the wrong place, you don't have to save him either. You don't have to save him at all. You just have to stand back and let him go. You literally have to stand back and let him go. And Sphinx, your party, they don't need all the healing. If they're engaged with something else, you shouldn't take the, the chance of getting hit by one of these things. Wait till they're free before you heal them. Wait till they get away before you give them their healing. You don't want to waste your spells meaninglessly. You have to conserve your magic and not heal people when it's not entirely necessary to do so. Would we feel anything prodding at our minds when this happened? Yes, each of you is getting a suggestive influence. All right, um, as soon as that happens to me and I feel okay, I would make a perception check to see if anyone in the party seems like they're being This is influenced. a sense motive check, okay. not a perception That's check. That's fine. That's even better. Sure. So I... I don't feel compelled to like keep this information to myself per se, do I? Um What information? This is your own Fair thoughts. Enough. This is your own ideas. This is the perfect opportunity for you to eliminate a problem that's been your problem for a long time. It's not doing anything other than playing off of what you already feel. You have the most to lose with your paranoia and your nonsensical mistrust. Hey, it's completely sensical. So, to Cassius. I think to some degree, Cassius is probably a much harder read, but Sphinx is not so much. Sure. Um, Sphinx seems a little out of place as something is talking to her. Um, well... But Actually, it's uh, you where are we on the, the cart. Huh? Or, or where are we uh, on the cart? Because if he's near me, I'm going to try to get further 
away from him. Okay. That's fine. You're usually like, you're usually like, sitting up, sit up, front. up front. Yeah, that's usually where you're at. Okay. Yeah. If so being near if, him is pissing me off. If anyone is acting abnormal to me and I fear that that prodding at my mind has affected anyone else, I will cast protection from evil on them. So if you say I would only notice a difference in Sphinx, then I'll just cast protection from evil on her. Um, I don't know, like you guys are talking, I don't know if Cassius sure. would be exhibiting any signs that lead me to believe I need to try to help him. Sure. Uh, I want both of you to know that this doesn't mean anything. Uh, the condition still stands. Figure it's what I would do. Yep. So do I... You'll use the spell points? Yep. Um, and my cast are... Do I notice something different about Cassius? Uh, with Cassius, no. Um, okay, so then I would only be casting on Sphinx if, I, if it doesn't seem like he's doing anything yeah. abnormal. Okay. Uh, minus that. So it is about uh, 10 hours travel to where this encounter, where you know the entrance to this cavern is. Can I have my interaction at the start of that before too? Yes, absolutely. You can feel the thing try to reach out to your mind as you start your, your movement for the day. And all I want, I'm focusing on being as menacing as I can. I'm just imagining um, whatever my envisionation of these creatures are. Um, from what I've described, from what I've seen, from like my my connection with Sphinx, mm -hmm. all I'm imagining is just these creatures packed into these tunnels, being cut down, and just lines of explosions and cuts. And uh, all I'm trying to do is just suggest the idea to this thing that having all of its guards in these tunnels will be its death. Uh, God, fuck, man, I can't really you uh you infer that and it says these things do not guard me i know your weakness madronicus if you want to reach me the innocence will be what you'll have to fight your way through those that don't know why they fight they just know that they must fight. That is the thing you hate most, isn't it? Killing those who don't deserve to die. They wait for you. And they will wake up easier than you think if you don't make the more mortal decision to survive. Out of character, I feel like this thing has just committed a foul in that it communicated part of its strategy, which has changed my spell preparation. For Your time. intimidate was successful. So I'm now in some way fight the next day as a way to essentially deal non lethal because I was not even bothering to prepare it because I did not. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mal's just cool with killing people then. Frostbite does not kill people. It does non lethal oh. damage. I had shocking grass prepared, which literally will murder anyone in one shot. In a way, though, that's maybe better for him from what he just said. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I guess I don't need keep watch prepared for the tablets. Are you sharing any of this information with us? I don't know if that would change anyone else's spells. <sighs> um. I won't want to screw people out, if I'm being honest. Um, Erevos, if you, I would maybe chat you up on it because I know you don't really have any morals in the first place. Um, <laughs> no, seriously. And it wouldn't bother you. Um, and in fact, I don't even know who anyone can use against you since you hate your family so much. So, um, I, yeah, I would potentially mention it to you. <clears throat> in my uh, studies, I have not seen the use of lethal spells. Not lethal so, spells. What are you asking me to do? He, wait, so what do you reveal to me from what he told you? Tell me in Maldronicus terms. He seems to want to use the ones we love against us. For those that we view as above killing. 
What do you think? He's going to use some sort of illusion magic to make us see our loved ones? No. This thing is far too powerful for that. It wants to need illusions. It will bring them to us. I have no qualms of stopping what's in our way, but... Well, do you? I'm not killing them this, this part. I can send them to a very long sleep. Now that I know what is coming. You say this thing was in your head? Yes. You don't think it's aware of your tactics of dropping people non-lethally? You don't think it's prepared for such a thing? Perhaps it will force you to make the choice to either kill them or they will fight to the death for you. I have never shown it this. When I fought its creatures, I did not. And he's never watched you before, has he, right? If you're sure, I just hope you can make the choice to... You said you were committed to stopping this thing. If you need to kill someone to get to it, I hope you choose that instead of sacrificing one of us. You can think of hypotheticals as long as we want, Erebus. We don't... The reality is we don't know what we'll face in those times. I just feel that now I am slightly more prepared maybe have a solution to a situation I previously did not. That is all. Are you saying we should think of more tactical spells to perhaps get the things out of our way to get to the main problem? I'm saying if anyone innocents are involved, I will dispatch them all myself while the rest of you go for it. At this point, I feel I could literally dispatch an army. Don't be too confident. But you must go for the killing blow on it. Because my magics are known to be ineffective. All right. All right. So um, Arvos is switching out invisibility for web after this conversation. Okay. Uh, oops, I did not mean to do part of this. I want to this up and open. Is this going to be a bunch of pegasuses all over <laughs> the place? <laughs> Stand back! Let me handle this! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a dagger! Two of them, in fact! And Erebos just goes like all like fucking dual wheel mode on this shit. Alright, so it is ten hours journey to the next location. Uh, the DC is fifteen now. It's for the spell points? For the spell points, yes. Oh, thank goodness. A lot of successes. Alright. Everybody lose your appropriate spell points. And I am going to give you the scene. And you succeeded on a very high spellcraft check. Um, so you will all get a bit of sight of this before combat happens from a safe distance. This is what you see. Hmm? Nice. <laughs> oh. Yes. More purple. What a, what a useful insight. Um. Uh, I want to make sure, though, I have people's dark visions correct. So does anybody have greater than 60 feet of dark vision? No. Uh, Ra, I want you to give me a perception check, though. Your hearing is incredible at this point. You can hear the flapping in the distance of something fleshy upon fleshy, but not like a hand hitting something, but like a kind of wet, sloppy, like octopi tentacle kind of slapping against skin way off in the distance. And you can hear two of them in two separate directions. One a little to the north 
and west of here, and one a little to the south and west of here. I feel like at this point with like this wonky ass stuff that's going on without having sight and having this weird ass hearing, um, I'm just going to be very like wet, fleshy wings flapping one north, one like, like it's going to be coming out like very like, um, Mm. you know, like methodical and like just like every like little thing that like comes to me, like I'll just start like spitting out. Are you able to guide Pierre around? whatever this is. We're kind of close to our end destination, aren't we? Correct. Well, we have to go through this. Everyone cast their pre now. We will take these down. All right. And as you do that, let's go to a quick break. Uh, I do 